Fellas, it's once again the freaking stick reporting in to give you some goddamn solid advice. Now, listen, some people can say, Sticky Ricky, we already know this, all right? But I bet a lot of you can't say that. I bet you didn't know that. And I bet you didn't understand how easy of a freaking golden tidbit this really was. Because the other day, I made a video about putting cacao in coffee, a couple scoops of cacao in your cup of cough, right? And, uh, you know, people had some recommendations, some freaking nutmeg, some freaking cinnamon. And it said, wait, hold on a second, cinnamon. That's right, cinnamon. I remember reading about cinnamon a freaking decade ago and the health benefits are plentiful. I'm talking about pretty much every health benefit there is can be applied to cinnamon. I'm talking improving the cholesterol, lowering the blood pressure, lowering the freaking blood sugars, fellas. Now, if you're bulking, you know how important it is to stay on top of the blood sugars. I've recommended wearing the fanny snack pack filled with fig bars, pitted freaking dates, you know, granola bars, protein bars, munching on those during your workout. And indeed, that will get you jacked and stacked 100%, all right? I've had people write me back some sticky ricky ever since I've implemented pounding down snacks during my workout, I've gained 10 pounds. Like numerous people have said this to me and it doesn't surprise me because it was the same thing for me. And I'll tell you something, uh, when I started the, you know, sucking down carbohydrates, I started with the carb powders, like, the, you know, the carb in, and I would do like eight scoops a day, you know, freaking sending me through the diabetic coma, you know what I mean? And that is so expensive, but you know, boy, boy, oh boy, do you stack some pounds on, you know what I'm saying? But then I realized quickly that you don't need the fancy carb powders. You know, you need some freaking fig bars, you know, some honey, uh, you know, some pitted dates, coconut shredded covered dates are good. Um, you know, anything, anything, you know, freaking Nature Valley crumbling granola bars, any of that stuff, you suck that down. I'm telling you, the muscles will be full, they'll be swollen. But after a while, you keep doing this, you know, if you're, I'm, you know, you're all about that freaking bulky lifestyle, what does that mean? That means you wake up, you eat, you go to the gym, you suck snacks, you freaking eat post-workout, you eat all until the point where before you go to bed, you stuff your face. You said, well, this is my last hurrah. You know, I want to go to bed in 30 minutes. Can I suck down 1,000 more calories? But the thing is, when you do that, you're going to get swollen, jacked, stacked, striated, dense, Maybe not so striated, if you know what I'm saying. More like covered with a layer of fat, you know what I'm saying? But we'll scratch striated. You will not get striated. But you'll get everything else. You get thick. You get freaking thick, right? The problem is, if you stay on top of your blood sugars, right, which you should, because if you're bulking, there's a very good chance you might become pre-diabetic, maybe even just freaking totally diabetic, right? And that's a harsh reality, okay, if you're really, truly bulking, sucking down treats, which again, if you want to get jacked and stacked, you have to suck down treats. I was never my biggest, okay, until I started eating the freaking, you know, eight chocolate chip cookies on top of all the snacks. Boy, oh boy, was I getting heavy then, okay? But the blood sugar is getting a little out of control now. And it freaking sparked me back to the, the cinnamon, to cinnamon, okay? So I'm at the grocery store, you know, I see this cinnamon powder, this is freaking organic, Cinnamon powder. Fellas, this cost me freaking $4. $4 or something like that. And you know what you do with this cinnamon powder? You don't have to be a chef, you know what I'm saying? A freaking rocket scientist extraordinaire. You don't have to have recipes or anything like that. You just sprinkle a dab. Now, if you're like me, you're pounding cups of coffee, okay? And listen, I've had, you know, 10 cups of coffee before I worked out. But sometimes I just want to sit back at night and maybe just have another cup of coffee. And that's okay because what I'm doing is I'm freaking sprinkling health benefits, okay? Look at that. I'm putting this cinnamon in here, okay? And what this is going to do, it's going to lower my blood sugar, right? It's going to lower my cholesterol. It's going to boost my HDL cholesterol. Um, it's going to improve memory, right? Uh, it's going to fight cancers because too much blood sugar, you know, freaking sugar fuels cancer, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but then also, fellas, you do the deep dive, okay? And then you start seeing the studies, all right, on cinnamon and how it's used as like weight loss management and things of that sort. And I believe, uh, I believe there was a study, okay? 
um, what was it? People took a gram of cinnamon with each meal and they didn't work out or anything like that. They took a gram of cinnamon with the three meals a day, okay? These are cookie cutter pencil necks that aren't having eight meals a day, right? Or if you're, in my case, it's just one meal that goes throughout the entire day. You know what I'm saying? Because you're eating, you're eating, you're eating, you're going to the gym. The meal continues with the snacks and then you're done working out and the meal continues. You know what I'm saying? So it's not eight, it's just one jacked freaking meal. Um, anyways, these uh, commoners put a kilogram of muscle mass on. Okay? And you can say, well, god dang, stick. I thought we were talking about weight loss. Now all of a sudden they're getting jacked. And it's because the cinnamon uh, makes your freaking, in, your cells more receptive to the insulin, right? Uh, it's like an insulin mimetic agent, okay? So you're just more, you're more insulin sensitive, right? If you're diabetic, you're insulin resistant. So you're going the other direction with it. Your body's super receptive to insulin, like your muscle cells. So all that blood sugar, your freaking muscles are sucking up and repairing and building new tissue, okay? On top of that, from my deep dive of research in the bro science websites, um, what else did it do? It made the IGF-1 in your blood, you made your cells more receptive to it. Okay, and don't ask me how, I don't know, I don't care. All I wanna know is if IGF-1 in your blood works better, right? And you're freaking packing on pounds of muscle because your muscle cells are more receptive to the blood sugars. And uh, it boosted, they compared cinnamon to a couple other freaking spices or whatever. And the cinnamon boosted your body's production of collagen the most. Now you can say, Sticky Riggy, I don't give a rat's patoot about collagen and I just want muscles dense and striated but collagen fellas is making up the freaking tendons right and the ligaments right that freaking wiry structure makes you strong makes you bulletproof so you don't end up tearing rupturing tendons you know what I'm saying because uh, these things are common guys this is real life you may be young and you may say eh, I don't ever see that happening to me well hey I was the same way I used to max out every single day and I got hell strong, right? But then, you know, a couple of years down the road, 10 years down the road, and you know, the joints have taken a whooping. You know what I'm saying? So it's important to do things, boost collagen production, right? It's important to stay on top of blood sugars, healthy freaking cholesterol and uh, blood pressure and stuff like that. Because let's be honest, when you're pushing pounds in the gym, your blood pressure is going through the roof. Last thing you want is an aneurysm, you know, stroke. This stuff happens, fellas. This is the real world. You know what I mean? Nobody's safe. So you got to take all these precautions so that when you're having cups of coffee that kickstart your heart, you know what I'm saying? Well, maybe you add, you sprinkle in a little bit of health benefits into it. Now listen here, fellas. There's another thing about coffee too. There was like a freaking study that uh, compared coffee um you know, ground coffee to instant coffee to decaf coffee to like no coffee. And all the coffees across the board boosted your life. You know what I'm saying? Lowered your mortality, your chances of mortality. And it was like the, the ground coffee was like 28% less freaking chance to die. And then the decaf and instant was like 11%. But I want to know what instant coffee were there. If they're using Folgers crystals, then yeah, that's not gonna be as good as, you know, Mount Hagen, you know, saying instant coffee. I'm talking good, pure quality coffee. But anyways, my point is, now this whole coffee dilemma, you know, it's a it's a good drink as well. It's good for you. Just, you don't, obviously you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to have 20 cups of Folgers crystals at one time and you're not trained with caffeine, right? But there's a lot of good stuff like chlorogenic acid inside of coffee that, you know, is uh you know super freaking polyphenol or something like that that boosts your life but i guess my point is with the cinnamon fellas you know if you're want to get really jacked and stacked downright swall you know maybe not so striated you have to eat a lot and if you got to eat a lot you're putting your body at harm's way your body doesn't want to force feed food all right it doesn't work that your body doesn't want to be as thick as a brick you know what i'm saying 
But we have to fight what our body wants and we have to shovel food down our mouths and we have to hit the weights and we have to, you know, take precautions like sucking down, uh, you know, putting some cinnamon in our drink and some cacao, boosting our heart's health. Uh, when I find more things, I didn't want this video, I thought this video was going to be 30 seconds long. I just basically, you know, if I could do it all over again, I was going to say, fellas, quick, sticky, golden, quickie tidbit, cinnamon is a superfood that you can sprinkle in your drink a couple times a day and it's gonna lower your blood sugars, it's gonna lower your blood pressure, it's gonna improve your HDL cholesterol, it's gonna enhance your memory, it's gonna boost collagen production, it's gonna make your muscle cells more receptive to insulin, which means that they're gonna get swallowed and freaking full as opposed to your waist getting fat. Your waist will shrink, your muscles will get freaking huge, okay? That would have been the video right there, but I, you know, Typical fashion, which should have been short, a sticky quickie, you know, turned into a full-on science lecture. You know what I'm saying? A college thesis. You know what I mean? But anyways, I'm going to suck down this cup of coffee filled with cinnamon, and I'm going to just feel my blood pressure spike with the coffee, but then at the same time kind of equalize. You know, an upper and a downer at the same time gets you feeling just right. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... And then we're going to go from there, okay? We're going to get really swole muscle bellies and a tiny little waist, all because of this cinnamon, fellas, all right? I'm excited. Try this out. Let me know how it goes for you. It's a delicious little seasonal drink that's going to kickstart your heart, kickstart your freaking metabolism, kickstart your way into the freaking new year. I'm talking 2023. You're going to be a different man. You're going to look different. You're going to feel different. You're going to freaking be healthy, right? You're going to be able to laugh at the face of those that aren't healthy, right? And you're going to be able to say, kiss, kiss, you know, and maybe you can tell them your secrets, but if you don't want to, that's on you, right? You suck down that cinnamon, fellas. And, you know, I'm telling you right now, I think scientists discovered ways to, um, bring dead cells back to life. So I guess what I'm trying to say is extend your life as long as you can, because science is a pretty miraculous thing. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we're going to be able to live for hundreds of years now, if things are going the way they are and you can bring dead cells back to life, we are extending our lives, but that's not quite here yet. So what we want to do is be optimally, um, you know, nourished and you want to get, uh, full, you know what I'm saying? All right.